dead. No, I'm dead. moving away now. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't have to wedge that cleaner. Hello, you dirty potters. How are you today? So, straight out of the gate, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I totally forgot to tell you guys that I'm going to the fair. Dante, why are you going to the fair? Why are you recording it? I'm not going to the fair for fun. I'm going to the fair because every year, Lindsay and I get invited to the fair to do a demonstration of pottery in the middle of this big room. People walk in, we sell some of our stuff. It's actually a really fun time. For those of you who haven't been following the channel for a very long time, it's the California State Fair. One time they saw my YouTube channel, I think they invited me, and then I kind of brought Lindsay along, and now we kind of come as a pair, like a little, like, like a little pottery pair. Last year I recorded it, but I only let my patrons see it. So this year, you guys see it as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, my patrons are still getting like an extra long version of this episode that is a uh, real, uh, it's also one of the reasons I'm not looking at the camera right now because I'm technically packing all of the stuff for me and Lindsay. So today, we're going to the fair to go get nervous in front of hundreds of people. Yay! I have a bunch of pottery tools and two aprons for me and Lindsay. I have a bucket with a bunch of sponges in it because there's no real sink around so I just have to like make do with water that I carry around. A couple of boards because as we use clay we will be reconstituting it so we have to have something to dry it off on and they only have a linoleum floor. This is all my stuff just in case people want to buy stuff so I have like credit card slicers, things like that in there. The first giant box of pottery that I have to sell. The second even bigger giant box of pottery that I have to sell. This whole thing is like a back workout. Oh, yeah. And I also have this ice chest because all we can really buy there is food from the fair, which is essentially just corn dogs and Walmart food. So like I did last year, I got an ice chest and I just put a bunch of food inside of it for me and Lindsay. I have my favorite drink, Blackberry Izzy's, Lindsay's favorite flavor of Monster Energy drink. There is a literal mountain of these chewy Quaker oat gummy bars in here. And of course, I have a bunch of these protein shakes because, um, I, I can't just live off of gummies forever. And I also have a giant thing of Arizona tea, like a, like a huge thing of it. You see, I bought this last night, but I didn't put the ice in until right now. That's, that's what a real adult does. And I even brought my good luck charm, Astro Boy, except for he's gonna ride in the front seat with me. I just wanted you to know that I brought him. Is there a lot of junk food in here? Yes. Am I on a diet? Not, not anymore. I really hope that it goes better this time because last time we did this for two days, which means that, yeah, and I think the first day was like a Wednesday. So I had to go there, set up, leave her, go to work, and leave her alone for like eight hours. Went home, didn't really sleep because I was too excited. Came back and then did this for the entire time on Thursday, which was super exhausting. And then I had to drive her home, unpack all my stuff, go to sleep, and then go to work the next morning. I didn't like it. I didn't like any of it. It was awful. So this time we kind of opted out for just one day. Okay, so I can't record and drive right don't you kind of want me to live yo click the like button if you want me to live some people are going to click the dislike button i'm sure i will be back i promise Lindsay will be here with me and i'll probably have some food in my hand because i'm super hungry okay Okay, so we have Lindsay in the car with us now. Say hi, Lindsay. Hello. We now have Lindsay in the car with us. We, we packed all of her stuff. Mm -hmm. We're on our way to the fair, but um, I think we're gonna go get coffee, and we're also gonna go get, get McDonald's. Don't judge me. So I have this I have this uh, family tradition of anytime we go on a uh, road trip, we go to McDonald's, and my sister and I used to get the McGriddles, which are it's basically an egg McMuffin, but like. Like syrup infused pancakes or the buns. So good. So fucking good. 
they're so good. Oh my god. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> good, get it. I might get one too. <laughs> Yo, how many family meals can you give me at a time? <laughs> Sir, we don't have family meals. You better get family meals. If I'm full, I'm like, Psh, I'll never eat McDonald's. That's trash food. <laughs> but if I'm hungry and three days no sleep, I will ruin the entire economy oh. of a McDonald's. Oh my god. See, see, something I could help with that is you can sleep, you know. Generally speaking, I hear people need sleep. I got work to do. God gave me the ability to stay up for multiple days at a time. He messed up. That was his fault. If I if I get like less than six hours of sleep for like three days in a row, I, I start going a little cray cray. And just everything seems worse. It's like yeah. I could like have trouble centering and be like, I'm a terrible potter. Why can't I throw? But I should just get a desk job. Like, <laughs> oh no. And then I'm just like, maybe I should just sleep. And then it, like always the next day, once yeah. I actually get proper sleep, I'm like, why was I so stressed out? Why but, was I being so weird? Why was I being so weird, exactly. We're gonna get coffee and food now so we don't starve at the fair, okay? Be, we'll be right back. Don't leave. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Ooh, pray tell. What is this pro gamer? I'm just gonna go forward instead of backwards. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to go backwards in the first place. Yeah, so so tell me tell me about this shirt. Duncan. I can never find pink clothes that fit me that are my style and my aesthetic. This is a pink Vegeta Dragon Ball. Vegeta's my favorite. Fight me in the comments below. This is my favorite pink shirt at the moment, because the only store that seems to carry like nerd pink clothes for males over 200 pounds with big shoulders is this one store in the Arden Mall. Wait, where is it? It's called Lunchbox. Oh. It's right next to Hot Topic. Oh my, of course it's next to Hot Topic. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's 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 like a, a niche store of Hot Topic. Like all the stuff you wanted at Hot Topic but they didn't have it right away. Oh my God. That's this stuff. Oh, I'm turning. I'm so excited. I'm very excited as well. And we are officially on our way to the California State Fair. I will see you guys in a bit on the setup. The setup is very long. <laughs> so we will see you guys in a second. For now, Lindsay and I are gonna be gross Americans and eat McDonald's. Yum, 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 <laughs> yum, yum. Look all of them oh, chickens. That's so cool. Yeah, I listened to this podcast, uh, the Myths and Legends podcast, and they had an episode on um, this Scandinavian folktale where there's a girl who uh, comes out of her mom riding a goat, and she like kills a bunch of trolls with her spoon and her goat. That sounds awesome. It is so it is so epic. Like I want a daughter like that, dude. Right? Yeah. And it's great too, cause like the entire thing, like she, her parents and her family, except for her sister, like mistreat her for being like super ugly, which is like in so many folkloric tropes, it's just like, oh yeah, if you're ugly, you're evil. And so she not only like completely defies like gender norms and freaking kills trolls with a spoon and her goat, but she also and like she's just like is just like, yeah, well, you didn't pay attention to me because you thought I was ugly and I'm awesome and I end up saving my sister from this from this whole like batch of witches. Anyway, it's, it's a cool story. I've learned from personal experience, you don't have to be attractive. You just have to be really highly skilled in one area of your life. They knew you were coming, Don. They have an esports building. I would like to be in here, please. I don't see any oh, Destiny God. characters up there, so. This is a Ryan Little production. Ooh, good thinking. Bunch of bubble wrap. Two. So much bubble wrap. <laughs> Just because I want people to know, like, we don't make cups and bowls all day. We actually do make real art pieces. Mm, yeah. With a capital A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, cups and bowls aren't real art. I mean, they are, but, like, to a certain extent, it's, like, craft mixed with art. But we actually make, like, 
You make sculptures. <laughs> you, like, at a certain point, it's non-functional. Yeah. Don't look at my bird. We're looking at your bird. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I need to lose weight anyway. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we wheeled everything in, and this is going to be our setup spot right here. Just like last year, if you're a patron, you most likely saw that video. But in a little bit, we're gonna go to parking lot Z, we're gonna park our stuff, walk all the way back here, and then we're gonna rearrange this entire thing. Cut away! Okay, so we just parked. Uh, the way this usually works is we get here, we usually drop off all of our stuff inside the building that we're supposed to be in, then we park our car, and then we walk all the way back to the main room. This time we're in the art room, which was last year number three, but this year it's number four. Number three this time is an esports room, and if they have Destiny in there, <laughs> it's, there's gonna be a problem. So we're going to set up right now, but we have to walk through the fair to kind of get there, and I'm gonna walk through the goat section. Um, farm animal, animal. This is a very little production. <laughs> I, want, I wanted that room insanely bad. The Destiny is basically a, a, a bungee MMORPG, so I can probably play Halo. That's not very cash money. So this is a little bit different, but Lindsay and I throw differently. I throw without a rim, and she throws with a rim. So I'm gonna set it up the way I throw first, and then I kind of just brought the rim along for the trip, so that if she wants to throw, we can just put this on. But we also brought a ridiculous amount of sponges, just in case. <laughs> So 
so we set everything up and around like 10 11 maybe they notified us that they're opening early so Lindsay and I kind of like scrambled to get everything together and but nobody's here now that it's 11 o'clock nobody's here so we hurried for no reason it was very random they just opened an hour early or so for like no reason but then nobody came in so it was kind of a bait and switch but we're all set up and we're fine now we have all the electricity I'm just gonna wedge some clay and then we're just gonna kind of wait for people I mean, my, my mom still uses some of those original things I made, like... <laughs> oh, they don't throw them away either. So. No, no. Mom, throw that away. I'll make you a better one. No. Yeah. <laughs> so how long, how many years have you been doing this? Um... I have a problem with time and space. Um, I want to say maybe six, seven years now. Okay. I started out, I was really bad. I was really bad. <laughs> um, and then I got good. And that's the story. Oh my god, it's so hard. It's so hard to resist. <laughs> I mean, I did too, yeah. You ever had them egg muffins? <laughs> no, man, it's the McGriddles. It's the, the ones McGriddles. with the syrup in them? Oh. That's great. You know that thing that people are addicted to? Yeah, sugar. Yeah, let's just inject it into the wheat. <laughs> Right, you take it off the wheel, and you put a cork in it, and um, people drink out of it. And then you go to a party, and you go, look what I got, it's handmade. <laughs> but the cool thing is, you get to look on the inside, and see kind of a C. You see it? Yeah? Yeah? See the inside of that there? Right, you really get to see the thickness of the walls. You really get to see the work that was done. Some pieces are really thick, some pieces are really thin, um, some pieces are just a mess on the inside, but they look gorgeous on the outside. Process, especially when I get to show people how to make all this, is I can just cut this in half. Now, anytime a piece breaks, it's a learning experience because you get to see the inside of the shape. It's been interesting to see how this manifests in the business world. And I can tell you, when I take an Uber and I tell someone that I am a small business owner or an entrepreneur, I get a very different reaction than when I say, oh, I'm an artist. I kid you not, I had someone one time say, oh, how's that going for you? And that was like, ooh, ooh, I feel like you wouldn't ask that if I was in any other profession. this don't pull yet come, come over here, come over here. you want to get yeah come this floss it's like the fortnite floss on the count of three you guys are gonna lift at the same time ready teamwork feet one two three i can't believe you've done this so proud <laughs> i'm willing to do this with my face so yosho is my master He's the one who taught me everything I know. And uh, I think he would actually like this, but we actually can't keep anything here at the fair today. We have to actively destroy all of it. We can't take it home, right? So no matter what we make, even if it's nice, <laughs> we're gonna have to destroy it. And we've so run out of creative ways to destroy it. We've run out of ways to destroy it. And if no one in the audience is brave enough, we do it ourselves. And then we come up with really strange and creative ways. You guys, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You have clay in your hair? 
Oh, undoubtedly. Yes, yes I mean, you it's do. cheaper than hair gel, what can I say? For sure. <laughs> I always wanted to do that on a wheel. Hmm. Takes time. Oh, yeah. Good. How long have you done that? About six years. You like it, obviously? Yeah. Yeah. No, he doesn't like it. That's like something he actually designed. He doesn't want to ask if he likes it. Some people do stuff they don't like. It's, nice. it's true. People do a lot of things for money that they don't want to do. I have kids. I'm regretting them. Oh, dab. That lady came by and she was like, I want to do that too. Do you like doing this? And her son was like, no, he doesn't like doing it. He's just doing it because he hates it. And oh my she's, she's like, I do lots of things I don't like to do. I have kids. And he was like, oh. <laughs> oh that lady's my hero right now. So we can't really take anything home to like fire with us. So we've been destroying everything. But a lot of people don't want us to destroy it. And some people want to destroy it themselves. So we made this little sign over here. And we told people for like $2 they could smash the pots we made. Okay, so it's around 8 o'clock and I think we have to leave now, but nobody ever wanted to smash these two items right here, so I'm gonna just have to throw them away. But we do actually have to start uh, going now, so we're gonna start packing up right now. Okay, so we're finally done with the fair. We had a little bit of trouble getting out, but it wasn't that bad. Um, the real issue was that, like, our paperwork says we're here until 8 p.m., but they allow the gates to be open for us to leave at 10 p.m., so it was a little bit of a finagle getting out. But overall, I think, yeah, it was it was pretty good. It was really fun. Yep. There were some really adorable kids who uh, helped Dante destroy things today, and... Uh, kids are awesome. Man. Oh my god, yes. It was, it was so adorable. The and adults are like, I don't want to touch it, and the kids are like, I will destroy it! I do not care! I love watching the reactions of adults when you like smash things. Just like the slight but collective gasp. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yes. Yeah, they always touch their yeah. hands with their chest. <gasps> I mean, admittedly, like if I was watching someone do like a glass blowing demonstration and then just like smash a thing, yeah. I would probably do the same thing. I'd probably like, ah! I, I definitely understand why they do it. It's just so deadening to us. We're so dead inside. <gasps> we're we're not like, dead. I'm a little, I'm a little dead inside. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm we, you're, dead you're just a little bit of a lich. I'll call, I'm I'll call it that. We just, inside. we just, we just make so many that it's like, it's not. The each piece is not as precious because yeah. we we make more and more of them. I guess. I have. I'm not gonna lie. I've had a massive headache since like three, maybe. So, sir, sir, go around. Yeah. He's going around. You go around. So Dante, tell your loving and supportive followers how many days you've gone without sleep. I don't, they don't have to know about that. <laughs> Linda's gonna yell at me. Oh no, Linda. She knows who she is. Linda, you should let, you should yell at him. I'm trying to get him to sleep. I, there's nothing I can do. She's like, Linda and Heather are like, you need to sleep. Okay, well, I just dropped Lindsay off. And man, is I'm, I'm dead. I've had a headache since like three o'clock. 
thank you Dirty Products for joining me today. I'm sorry the lighting's so weird. It is now nighttime because I have been out all day long grinding that pottery. Of course, the links are always down below. There's a fantastic Facebook and Discord community. I will probably make another video for you guys next time at the fair. I love your Dirty Potter faces. I am going to drug myself and go to sleep now with legal drugs, not non-legal ones. Stay in school, kids.